That's what I am here to do. I'm here to figure out why exactly House Erebus is fucking me, because I'm still pretty sure it's them. And I feel like you're the guy to tell me this. And I know you're not here to clear your name and you don't give a shit about the council and blah, 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 blah. blah. That's fine. I don't care. I just want to bring down these assholes. Because that dude fucking broke some of the greatest wine I've ever drank in my life, and we don't play that <laughs> shit. Not everything is black and white. What you might think to be guilty might actually not. What might actually be innocent might actually not as well. Uh, it's up to you to decide in the long run. God, you talk like one of the holy people. <laughs> Do you, are you a cleric <laughs> on, your so on the side? No. You just enjoy talking in riddles? <sighs> Alright, well. I mean, thanks, I guess. For the money. And the ability to kill your big fancy riptide thing. That was fun. Um, do you guys need me to do anything extra while we're here? Or can, should we just fuck off now? Would you be capable enough to kill the war chief in the south? The, like, the war chief in the south? The war chief? Uh, again. And I, I kind of sit up a little bit straighter and I, you know jiggle around my half plate on me with my giant steel shield and my war hammer and I'm like no how would I I'm not you expect me to just run at him and fight him surrounded by his entire you know tribe of fucking greenies like no I'm not <laughs> sneaky bro he chuckles bro. <laughs> as if he meant it was a joke and says fair enough I didn't expect that much from your lot anyway I'm not that sneaky man sorry if you can convince him to meet me somewhere maybe but until then yeah uh, he keeps on going uh, about the greenies, and he says, <laughs> I say that jokingly, but truth of the matter is it's become a, a thorn in everybody's side. It appears as though a new war chief uh, has gotten too big for his britches, and uh, he goes on and on about the treaty back ten years ago and how they agreed to, you know, not fight. Um, at some point, he does drop the name Vargrashi Empire, okay. which you know to be the official name that the Greenies have formed under? Like, it's various clans that have all come together to make one empire. Chat, figure out a way to make it dirty. <laughs> Continue. Yeah, I don't think you need um, to ask Chat that. And then he asks you, so, after you leave here, I assume you're going to be continuing your search? When I leave here, I'm probably going to head back to, what the hell's the name of the big city here? White Throne? Or, yeah, White Throne. It's White Throne, right? Yeah. Probably going to head back to White Throne, tell Malachi that you did exactly what I we expected you to do and just say, we didn't do it, and didn't give us any other information. I'm going to tell him we killed Riptide, I'm going to get drunk, and then I'm going to do whatever he wants me to do after that. And if it ends up being that I get to somehow accuse House Ere Erebus of something, then fucking baller. But other than that, I'm here for a paycheck, brother. Okay. Um, he basically thanks you for your understandingness. Uh, you can't tell if he's being sarcastic or not. Oh, I can tell. Perception check? No, 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 no. I, I know. No? This dude's an asshole. Okay. Got it. Um, at some point, he motions to I'm a, a stone lord, and he's like, yeah, that's cute. I'm like, fuck <laughs> you, man. I'm like literally the hero of the dwarves, but yeah, you're a fucking <laughs> cock knocker. At some point, he motions to his left, and there is a fairly large cudgel leaning in the corner of the room. Nice. Uh, you know what a cudgel is, right? Yeah. It's like a giant stick. Yeah. For beating. It's a big, and he, big yeah. bitch beating so, stick. So, this is abnormally large. It's almost to the point where you feel like this wasn't made for a human. Yeah. And uh, he motions to it and offers it to the party, and he basically says... The party would be me. If, yeah. Okay. If, if you so desire, I would be willing to offer you some assistance in loaning you this weapon. Think of it as a, a borrowing for your, to expedite your adventures. I do expect it back, however. Why would it? What is it? just a cudgel. It's just, you're going to loan me a big stick? I mean, I appreciate that and all, but I've got a fucking, I have a war hammer here. Uh, he just kind of looks at you and says, things aren't always what they appear to be. Well, what does, what is it then? Because it appears to just be a large fucking log. It's a really big stick. Um, uh, on closer inspection, like if you walk up and go up to it. Oh, I'm not. I'm asking him. Okay, you're just going to ask him? Yeah, I'm just asking him. I'm not looking at shit. I'm sitting right here, drinking out of my wine. But it he looks like a big stick, says though. It's your loss. Uh, it's... Really? You're not going to tell me anything about the big <laughs> stick you're trying to give me? 
You know, I mean, he, he's offering you a large, abnormally shiny, and supposedly fancy-looking stick. I mean, can it's I, a fancy-looking stick, but... telepathically communicate with Gip buffs? <sighs> no. If we can not get my thoughts in weapon, any way... I mean... Like, he's basically just saying, look, there's a stick here. I think it'll help you with what you're trying to achieve, and you, if you, you don't know, want it, so be it. You know what would help me with what I'm trying to achieve? Booze. Booze would help me, because I'm trying to achieve being intoxicated. I'll take the stick. Do I really have to get knocked out again to get out of here? He just kind of looks at you blankly and pushes forward another cup of wine. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Is it at least good wine? I ask him. <laughs> Uh, he chuckles and says it's, uh, it should be to your liking, considering how we took it from your bag. You son of a bitch! <laughs> wow! I get right. You guys keep fucking with my wine, and someone's about to get dropped in this bitch. Uh, alright. So I go over. I'm like, well, I can't exactly carry it back. Fuck it. Yeah, I want it. Just bring it back with me, and I, I drop the fucking drought. Okay. Uh, you black out again, and let's cut to the party. You guys wake up the next day. What are you guys doing? I start tending to my wounds in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Can I help with that? I got knocked the fuck down. Um. Oracle. Oh, so you want to heal, heal him throughout the day, Kitty? Yeah. Okay, she wants to touch me, to be honest. Give me a heal check? <laughs> a heal check? Yeah. Oh no, it's wrong path. Oh god, I closed out roll. Hold on. God damn it, Kitty! I'm sorry, I accidentally closed out roll 20. Okay. Oopsie. By the way, did anyone timestamp when we actually started so I know when to take our breaks? I uh, say it was the bottom of the hour. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Did she make it worse? Did she literally make it worse? <laughs> no, at some point you realize that this cat has no idea what she's doing. She's like trying to bandage your arm and it's like wrapping around okay. your head. So I tell her to stop. Like, yeah. I, I'm like, I'm like, put it down. Walk over there and I'll do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll a first aid check for yourself too. D20 plus and wisdom modifier? Uh, so. yeah. Okay. So we'll say we're about a half hour in right now. Okay. I'm a- oh, fuck me. Uh, Can you I? don't exactly expedite the process, but throughout the day you do heal naturally, so you regain- Wait, can I do a- can I- can I do a true 20? Do a what? True 20? Which What's means- I could Take 20. No, that's different. Never mind. No, I like you're picking locks and such. Yeah. Um, ah. So yeah, you'll just naturally heal whatever you normally get throughout the day, so that'll put you up uh, two more. It's just like complete rest, so you're now at four HP. Alright. Um, Kayla, Kitty, Ergo, just chilling for the day, or? Uh, I was bandaging myself. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Ergo rolled a he one, tried to heal himself. He rolled a one, tried to heal himself. Uh, your HP does not increase throughout the day. You actually <laughs> nick an artery. <laughs> you were bandaging yourself, and you nicked an artery. <laughs> it's like he got... You know, the gauze wrap was actually like... Uh, at I, some I point, you guys notice that the barkeep has returned, and this time it is actually the barkeep. He just kind of looks at you guys as like, Huzzah! I, I talked to him and asked how his night was. It's not bad. They, they paid me for the night to leave. They basically paid me how for much? every... Uh, huh? How much? I said, how much did they pay you? Uh... If you're willing to disclose that information. Eh, they paid me enough for room and board and all the alcohol in the keep. Because they assumed that you guys would drink it all. Ah, I call it a good deal. Hmm. So, so, did you watch the fight when we were at Fort Riptide? Did you make oh, it to the yeah, area? hell yeah. Like, he seems really hype about this fight. It's like, like um, asking, what was it like fighting him? Like, just to have that monster in your face. I've been faced with monsters before, but none quite like that, I must say. 
was a changing experience. Um, <laughs> and then I get you knocked out. You just says changing your pants to that. Yeah, I actually had to afterwards. I'm not even going to deny that. But I'm more upset that I got knocked out by the little thing than the big thing. Well, there was a lot of little things. Little fuckers can hit something. Uh, at some point, he does comment that you guys look a little bit beat up. And is like, you should probably go see one of the clergymen to, you know, patch you back up or something. Do you know how much it costs for a clergyman? In these uh, parts of town? No, I try and not hurt myself on purpose. Try to not almost get killed by I, I say, uh, a monster. Of clergymen. <laughs> I, I say we got a couple of clergymen in the group here, I think. Or some kind of magic fucking people, I don't know. <laughs> Alright. See yourself, and he just goes back to doing his work. But if one was interested in seeing a clergyman, where would I find him? Uh, he points uh, in like a general direction west, and is like, about three blocks down, we've got a church open. I tell the group, let's go for an adventure. An adventure to where? To the fucking church of these goblin retards. I don't know. Apparently there's a clergy church that can kill us. Well, I mean... Sure, let's do it. Anyone else want to come? Yeah, let's go over there. Uh, I'm definitely going. So I asked the drow. Rip, rip, t rip, short head. <laughs> rip tide. <laughs> 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 was the the drow. Reality. Riptide. My eyes are still covered, like, still kind of like, oh, blood swollen. What? Uh, we we want to go to a fucking clergy church down here. Bunch of clergymen, apparently. I have a little touchy touchy feely uh, bit of spells. Do you want to come? Sure. Yeah! Uh, the big happy family. Okay. So, you guys make your way down the streets and you get a lot of looks and people are just kind of murmuring, like, pretty much talk of the town right now. They're all hype. I, uh, I wave it as I walk by. <laughs> a couple of girls squeal and just like blush and pretend like they're fainting. Right. Um, <laughs> as you keep going, it, it's very obvious and fake, but still. Uh, right. As you keep going, you guys eventually make your way to the, the church. Um, ergo, you yeah. notice that it is the church of uh, Mitra. It's very run down, of course, but it, it, nonetheless, it is a church. <laughs> I... Attempt to enter the church. Okay. I mean, you can just walk in. I just walk in and fuck that shit. Okay. Um, you see a couple of old clergymen scuffling about, you know, tending to the altars and stuff. One of them walks up to you and says, "An elderly voice, uh, greetings. How can I help you today?" It's like we're well, inquiring about uh, getting some medical aid. He just kind of looks at you and is like, I, I, I can see that. You, you don't exactly look to be uh, in the healthiest of sorts. I say, fighting an 8 foot 5 fucking tall Merlock will do that to you. Let's see. Well, the Church of Mitra is open to, to most everyone. Our services are equally available. Said, so, what would it, what would we have to do to get healed? By your multiple hands? Well... First off, tell me more about yourself. What faith do you follow? And... I have no faith whatsoever. Hmm. Uh, I have my little symbol outside of my robes. Okay, and then he just kind of glances over at Orgo and says, Hmm. Just leaves it at that and says, We are willing to offer you our assistance. However, our skills aren't exactly limitless. <laughs> They're commodities as well, so we're going to require some compensation. Just uh, enough to keep the church running, of course. Sure. So if you're good at something, you never do it for free. Fair enough. As you can see, this church isn't exactly the most catered to. The locals don't exactly pay as much attention, so... I say, what if we could get more locals to pay attention to you? How so? He just kind of looks at you. Well, have you heard of a beast called Riptide? Yes, I've heard rumors. We were the ones that killed it. Okay. He's so a little bit skeptical at this point. So we kind of known around the local areas and recognized by people that saw us at the arena. Would you mind telling me why you killed Riptide? Um, I don't know why they did it. I did it for my freedom. Freedom? Hmm. Um, we we yeah. entered an arena match and they were like... Alright, you guys get to fight him. Differently glory.